Hey guys, this is going to be a mixed media tutorial using Prismacolor markers and Faber Castell colored pencils. If you don't have Faber Castell colored pencils, I think that you can also use uh, Prismacolor Premier colored pencils would be a good substitution for this. Okay, so this is what the finished drawing kind of looks like and I'm just going to finish up this drawing and show you how to do the little snubble in the background. So I'm going to take the broad side of my ballet pink and I'm going to color in pretty quickly all of the pink areas of the snubble. And if anybody there hasn't been um, acquainted with Pokemon yet, uh, Snubbles a Pokemon. I recently caught him in Pokemon Y and I decided that I wanted to draw him and do a little fashion inspired concept sketch inspired by his design. I'm saying him because the snubble I caught was a male. And this Prismacolor marker is just going to be a good base for the colored pencils that you will use on top of your drawing. And I'm, I'm going with a lighter color. So, um, if I was, if my drawing was a yellow Pokemon, I would probably use a very a light yellow. Just, just if you're using the markers, go with a, the lighter color than, not the actual color of what you're drawing, but a couple of shades lighter. Now I'm going to take the fine tip of my Cloud Blue Here's my color marker, and I'm going to color in the bluish greenish parts of Snubble right here. Oh, I have to get his little hand right here. All right. Now, Snubble's feet are. Uh, kind of a dark brown color, so instead of using dark brown, I'm filling it in with brick beige. So this is uh, it for the Prismacolor markers. Next, I'm going to take this Pomeranian Red. This is Faber-Castell. I think you can probably use Cadmium Red if uh, you want to match this with a Prismacolor pencil. That's probably it for the Pomeranian Red. Next I'm going to use Medium Flesh and just go into the mid-tones with this. Okay, now this is white, so first I'm going to go over it, the highlighted areas with it, and then I'm going to go over the entire drawing with it, so I'm going to do that. Okay, now I'm going to use white, and this is cobalt green. I'm going to use these two colors, and I'm just going to go over the shadows with the cobalt green of the blue parts, and then I'm going to go over the highlights again with the white. The pink part's done and the blue part's done. Next, I'm going to go over the little brown parts with um, this is raw umber and you guessed it, white. 
Now for the ends of his little ears, those are supposed to be black, I'm going to use this black marker. Okay, I don't think I'm going to go over that with any colored pencil. I think it looks just fine the way it is. If you're drawing a little stubble, you can be free to go over that with colored pencil, but I'm just going to go into the eyes and this is this is a Micron 05 pen and I'm going to color in his eyes with this. Okay, so this is what the finished snubble looks like and as for the background, I don't really know what I was doing with the background. I was just kind of scribbling on it. You can find all the markers that I use in this tutorial in the 15 set manga box that Prismacolor offers. But other than that, I hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching.